Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the daily inspirational oracle reading provided to you, darlings, by the Jungle Beauty Goddesses. I like for you to take a moment and think about any problems or concerns that you're having right now. And maybe you're looking for insight, a sign from the universe, or maybe just a different perspective, another way to look at it. And let this reading resonate with that. Or you can simply allow your mind to settle within your heart and let whatever issues you have or any concerns, let it surface from your subconscious and resonate with this reading. After this energy check-in reading, I am going to give you a yes or no pick a card reading with my Mystic Beam Oracle deck. And they'll give you a variety of answers from yes, no, maybe, it's not time, and so forth and so on. You'll pick one, two, or three. For now, we're going to go ahead and get started with the Daily Inspirational Reading. The first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Chobi's message to you today, darling, is... Good. Focus here. Protect yourself. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is, it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar's message to you, darling, is, be creative. This hand is so interesting. Now, what I'm picking up from this particular energy check-in, daily inspirational reading today, is that you are protecting yourself because you have put yourself in past relationships that have been very unhealthy for you. Now, what the universe wants you to do, darling, is to redefine what love is, what's learn what self-love is, and change the way you treat yourself. Now, I know people say this all the time. The way you treat yourself is the way other people are going to treat you. And you, you have to understand is that when people treat you differently than you treat yourself, a lot of times you reject them. Like I've, I've been around women before, I've had friends before who, you know, refer to themselves in, in very negative terms and, you know, had the mindset that all men are cheaters. And when they would meet a guy who was really a nice person, they would push that guy away because they would say, he's too nice. Like, I don't, I'm not used to guys like this. I don't, I don't like a guy who is this nice. Can you see where I'm going with this? So when you are around people or if you people meet friends and if that friend is like, you know, really kind to them, they have, they have trouble with the relationship, especially when they are, they haven't been this way in the past or they haven't treated people like that in the past. So the way you treat yourself, darling, and the, you know, the way you see the world are the kind of people you're going to resonate with you're going to and send out a frequency to. And these are the people who are going to come into your life. And you're going to be asking yourself questions like, why do I keep running into friends who betray me? Why do I keep attracting guys who um, dishonor me, who disrespect me? Because, you know, if you look in every scenario, the the um what is the term i'm looking for the root cause or in every scenario you are there right so it it can't be the world or other people it has to be you because in every scenario you're always present so you have to look at yourself and ask yourself okay what am i doing to attract unhealthy relationships where I feel like I need to protect myself. With well, the card that we have from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar uh, about to be um, creative. Now, Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar represents your third chakra. 
And your third chakra has to do with your intuition, your intellect, your inner vision. It has to do with being able to like trust yourself, like trust. Um, you know how so, some people have really strong intuition or they have the ability to foresee a situation. That is the part of yourself. You, you have stopped trusting your ability to make good decisions or to have strong discernment. So you just continue to protect yourself, which means that you either are staying out of a relationship, you are having difficulty finding love, but you can't find love when your heart chakra is closed. So what I'm going to do today is go over some things that you can do to open your, your heart chakra so that you'll be able to attract healthy relationships. But the first relationship you must work on is the relationship that you have with yourself. So we're going to go over some things you can do to build a strong relationship with yourself so that you can attract loving, supportive, and faithful people in your life. So I'm going to go over some things with you to help you open your heart chakra so that you can have healthier relationships with yourself and with other people but first once you have a healthier relationship with yourself it would naturally happen with other people so one of the things you can do to open your heart chakra darling is go forest bathing some people call it forest bathing but basically just go in any wooded area and when you walk through the area, it really cleanses your aura and your chakra. Your, your, um, it cleanses your, your aura, but it also opens up your heart chakra because of the oxygen. And the heart chakra's element is air, darling. And so when you're in the air, it actually changes the vibration. Another thing you can do is make sure that when someone asks you to do something that you really don't want to do, please don't do it like I want you to develop a very genuine relationship with yourself so if you don't want to do something if someone asks you something if they want you to babysit if they want you to, to borrow money or if they want you to go someplace whatever it is if you truly do not want to do it I want you to to start from this day forward honoring yourself because I promise you once you start to do this you're going to notice that your relationship with people is going to change but you're also going to they're going to have more respect for you because you're having you're showing more respect for yourself they're also um, I know this sounds silly but drinking heart chakra tea I have all of the chakra teas I think I don't think I have any heart but I, I drink a lot of throat and the creativity I think I I do I have the heart chakra I have all of them I just wanted to have them and there are two different brands um, that actually make the chakra teas, but y yeah, drink some heart chakra tea. I'm telling you, the chakra teas work. Um, you can also, when you are dealing with people, I want you to re to try this. I want you, like, if you find yourself judging someone, and let's just say this person you think is a maybe this is you know somebody you don't like for sure. I want you to think what about this person's backstory. I want you to think about what may have happened to them that contributed to that behavior. Like you're, you know, to be more empathetic and be more compassionate. Now for me personally, I have this belief that humans are always doing the best they can. And if you walked a day in somebody else's shoes, you would be a completely different person. Um, and that's from being a social worker. There, I've had some cases where I literally bawled in my car that I don't, you know, I'm not going to go through, but it changed my perception about God, about life, about everything. So if you start thinking like, wow, if I was born with parents who did A, B, C, D, and E, would I be who I am today? If my if my life was different, I would be a different person. Uh, if, I, if my background was different. I also want you to think about... I remember my dad used to always tell us, I'm sorry about the adjusting, my dad used to always tell us that with, like if a car was to cut us off or if somebody was, you know, like a driving crazy, my dad would say, you know, what if that person 
is sick or they have to use the bathroom or what if they're on their way to the hospital because their wife is having a baby or somebody they love was injured my father would always say give the other man the benefit of the doubt and so I've always grown up with that perspective that when somebody is having a, a tough time to just be a little bit to be sympathetic and and just think what if just what if that person's life um, is what if that person is stressed out so you're when you're showing empathy your heart chakra expands okay so what we're working on is I want you to see people in a different light now that doesn't mean that you're gonna borrow let them borrow that money now or watch their kids now we're not talking about that but what I am saying is that in general you just want to be a, a overall compassionate empathetic and non-judgmental person um, also to open your heart chakra, you should recognize and accept your all of your emotions. Like I know your shadow self. Embrace your shadow self, darling. That part of you who is jealous and that part of you who gets angry and has a temper. That part of you who procrastinates. All of the parts of your personality that you have suppressed and you have you know try to avoid because society just wants you to have a smile on your face right but that part of you that you have rejected and in denial about that part of you is really the best way to think of it it's like a big boulder that's blocking your heart chakra okay it's preventing you from um, really attracting the type of love that you deserve and being able to forgive yourself so before anybody else can really accept you you have to first accept yourself also um, to accept you know kindness from other people accept compliments like the next time I want you to practice this the next time someone gives you a compliment I want you to say thank you without saying anything else back because like, a lot of times when somebody gives us a compliment we feel like we have to compliment them back because we feel like um, you don't want there to be some you know like you took like you re you were in receipt of something that you didn't deserve but when someone says something nice to you I want you to really just say thank you but then on the other hand I want you to try to give people compliments to make people feel good like I'm not saying don't be disingenuous but I want you to think of like just how to brighten somebody's day however that feels genuine to you like I remember I used to like to put like if I was if I saw that someone's um, if the parking meter was running out I would literally go put change in there and it, for some reason it was more for me than it was for that person because it just made me feel so good about myself you know what I'm saying or to pick up or one time I remember I bought somebody's food that was ahead of me and because I heard them like taking things off the menu um, because they couldn't afford it and the person who was taking my order I just said you know can you just go ahead and tell that person to get whatever they want because someone is paying for it do you know what that was that just that was good for me that opened my heart chakra so I want you to think about things that you can do to make you feel and you know um, to feel like you're resonating with humanity that you're kind that you know that you're giving love so the love that you're seeking is also the love that you're giving and that frequency is a frequency darling that's going to come back to you you can also use crystals um, gemstones and crystals to open your heart chakra such as jade malachite um, rose quartz uh, rhodonite um, uh, ruby fluorite chrysocolla like this is a chrysocolla I'm trying to see what other ones um, there are just a lot of I'm sorry I don't want to get I don't want another long video so basically green and pink gemstones I think I said rose quartz I'm not for sure but rose quartz and also um, pink calcite those are really good gemstones to open up your heart chakra you can place them on your on your like first you want to cleanse them with sage you want to cleanse your gemstones with sage and um, another thing you can do to open up your heart chakra or help it uh, is to be grateful for what you already have like being grateful like keeping a gratitude journal and let's see you can do some oils and like rose oil lavender neroli angelica 
also eating green foods and but I want there's one thing I want you to do because I don't want the video to, to get too long and open I just want to tell you this one thing I need you to do in order to open up your heart chakra to develop a closer relationship with yourself so that you can have relation, healthier relationships with other people and you can trust your intuition, which is really what this, what the today's energy check in hand is about. I want you to write a letter of forgiveness to yourself. I want you to think of everything that you've ever done. Not everything, darling, but the major things that you've done that you feel kind of guilty about. Because the harsh, again, not being able to forgive ourselves blocks our heart chakra and prevents us from giving love. So I want you to write yourself a letter of forgiveness. I want you to say, darling, whatever you say to yourself, you know, like just really write it from your heart. If you're not crying by the end of that letter, darling, you did not write it correctly. I'm just letting you know it's not coming from the right place. But I want you to say, hey... I forgive you or you know you're human and you know people go through things and it is okay you tell yourself that it is okay you hear me okay so you're gonna write this beautiful letter I want nice letterhead like something with flowers or whatever you like but something attractive I don't want to just throw them together but writing yourself uh, forgiveness and then I want you to because we're working on you first and I want you to put it in a beautiful envelope and I want you to put wrap it in a red, um, <clears throat> tie it in a red bow, like maybe you could just roll it and tie it in a red bow, okay? Like a, just a red, um, like a scroll. But I want you to put a red ribbon around it. I want you to hold on to that. And then I want you to write 50 things that you absolutely love about yourself, no matter how small or big it is, okay? Now, what I want you to do is basically, um, you know, it could be something like you like your ears or your lips or you just, you know, the time, name something that you did to make somebody else happy. Just whatever you can come up with. Like these are 50 things that I really like about myself or that I've done or that just that make you feel good. Okay. And now what I want you to do is make some, I want you to either get the sh heart chakra tea or make some rose and lavender tea. You can just get the buy the rose petals and the or the lavender petals. You know you can get them from the um, grocery store. And I want you to make some tea because it opens up the heart chakra. And while you're drinking the tea, actually it would be good good to drink the tea and write the letter. And then I want you to have. To create a dinner date with yourself and I want you to make it special I want pink candles okay I want a pink candle there I want you to have a nice you know placement setting if you can have like a you know something pink because we're talking about the heart and we're talking about you know opening up the heart so and I want you to make yourself a really nice dinner you cannot have any fast food for this because fast food Vi even when it's healthy it vibrates at a lower frequency and you want to use something eat something that you've created with your hands because your hands represent your heart chakra so I want you to make your favorite meal okay I don't care if it's a it's if it's a um, grilled cheese sandwich with tomato soup I don't care what it is what matters is that you have created it yourself you're going to sit down with your pink candle. You're going to make sure that you have a nice rose and lavender tea or a chakra tea, a heart chakra tea. And then I want you to eat your meal just by candlelight and I want you to be mindful and slowly. And then I want you to, oh, the letter, the 50 things that you like about yourself. But first, before we get to that, um, I made a mistake. Just hold this for a second. I want before you, after. I'm sorry, before you shower or bathe, I like for you to take that letter of forgiveness. I want you to read it to yourself and I want you to take a salt bath um, with sea salt because sea salt is a cleanser. But I want you to burn, I want you to read that letter and I want you to ask if you believe in your guardian angels, whatever you believe in. But I want you to truly read this letter. I want you right before you get in the top, I want you to you know if you have some type of safe container I like for you to to burn this letter and I want you to let it go and when you get in the tub I want you to use the seesaw to clean you know you can take the seesaw if you have a if you don't have a bathtub 
and just put the sea salt inside of your shower gel and just put it all over your body because you want to cleanse all of that energy from all the guilt you're, you're carrying and I want you to let every all of your sh shame and guilt all of those negative emotions that you have all the things that you haven't forgiven yourself for I want it to go down the drain with that water okay so you're gonna do that first now you, you have to get rid of the the letter of forgiveness because when you read it I want you to be in a state of when you first read your letter of forgiveness, I want you to, it's right before you cleanse yourself. And then I want you to burn it. I would say bury it, but I don't know how you're going to bury it. Because bury it, especially if you're about to get in the tub. But So I would just say burn it before you get in the tub. Like I have like a little iron pot that I burn things in. So I would burn it right before I take your, before you take your salt bath. And then I want you to get dressed and go to your little dinner that you, that you're making for yourself with your pink candle. And then I want you to read the 50 things that you love about yourself. Okay? This, do this. And I want you to know, and sometimes I really, I hesitate to tell people this. When you do spiritual work, it always gets bad before it gets good. And I don't like to warn people and tell them that because then a lot of times it scares them away. When you do this exercise to open up your heart chakra, you might find yourself a crying mess. But you know what? I promise you, it's going to get so much better. You're going to notice that how you treat yourself, how you honor yourself, how you, and then you'll notice that other people will start treating you differently without you even having to say anything. And I also want you to be conscientious too about, um, your definition of love like when was the last time you felt love you know what I'm saying and what do you want in a relationship and in terms of how you do you want to be adored do you want him to you know like or her or whatever but when you work on you and forgive you and love you and after this even after you have this little dinner with yourself and you're forgiving yourself, I want you to do something every day that is super that's kind for, that is that is a display of kindness to you so the reading the reality I'm sorry the inspirational check-in oh it is impossible for someone to love you more than you love yourself that is the card that we had today I hope that I've given you some things to do to open up the heart chakra so you can treat yourself well forgive yourself so you can really stop protecting yourself because of what I'm picking up from this hand is that you've been in relationships that have not honored you, which caused you to have to protect yourself. And I want you to let that go. And we're coming up with some creative ideas to help you open up your heart chakra and trust your intuition. Okay? And then you'll, once you're treating yourself better, once you let go of a lot of baggage, you will see that the people that you attract in your life will be people who honor and respect you. So now I'm going to give you an opportunity to ask the mystic beings a yes or no question. Select number one, two, or three. Okay? So I'd like for you to go ahead and formulate your question, darling whatever you want to ask them and we'll see what their answer is to you one two this is for people who have selected number one if you have selected number one here is the answer from the mystic beings what is the answer for the person who have selected number one it says you are not ready so the mystic beings answer to your question darling is you are not ready you are not so you're not ready for the answer or you're not ready for what you're asking for so if you selected number two i like for you to go ahead and formulate your question. Go ahead and formulate your question, darling. And I am going to select a mystic being to answer your question for you. So let's see what the answer is. For people who selected number two, here is your answer from the mystic beings. 
more time needed. So, whatever your question is, the mystic beings are saying you need more time. Or it's more time, to, or the universe need more time before that question can be answered. Because again, everything is happening simultaneously, and sometimes things are not worked out even in the universe because we are um, free beings and we can change our frequency and change our course at any time. So now I have for anyone who for people who have selected number three. I'd like for you to go ahead and formulate your question, darling, and I'm going to pick a mystic being to give, provide you with an answer from your question, for your question. So if you selected number three, let's see what the answer is. Alrighty, if you selected number three, your answer for the mystic being to your question is, you decide wow they usually are very yes no so when you get the card that says you decide it just means that you have the ability to get whatever you want so whatever whatever your question is you're thinking whatever you think about it is probably either going to bring it about or your intuition is correct so be careful with, when they ask you to decide, make sure that you're deciding on what you really want because it's, because I take it as you have the power to create the reality that you're looking for. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.